On this episode, we talk about VA loans and rent backs. What's up everybody, it's Jason Cassidy with City Consulting Group in downtown San Diego. Thank you for tuning in to Ask a Realtor, episode 11. Um, quick uh, shout out to my friend Derek Evans with Smarter San Diego TV. He had me on the show last week. Uh, we got to talk about Ask a Realtor, uh, how the show was founded, and, uh, and all that jazz. So uh, if you haven't seen the clip yet, make sure I'll link it below. You can check it out. Um, but uh, yeah, episode 11, got a good show. I'm going to jump right into it. Let's go to question one. What is a VA loan? Question one, what is a VA loan? Uh, fantastic question. Uh, VA loans are awesome loan programs for uh, active duty and, and veteran military members uh, to any of the five branches. That's uh, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, or Coast Guard. There's actually some, uh, some caveats. There's some extra stuff in there as well. I'll link it below. Um, commissioned officers of uh, the Public Health Service, um, the National Oceanic um, and Atmospheric Administration too, and a couple others that I'll link below. Um, the best way to do it is think military. Um, and spouse of military who died in active duty um, is also eligible. Um, National Guard and, uh, and or reserves are also eligible after six years of service. So that is a, a caveat there that you have to have six years of service. Uh, the normal active duty uh, um, timeline is just six months of service. So uh, remember that for your VA there. But the VA is a fantastic program. It actually allows um, buyers to put zero money down, which is fantastic. It's one of the only loans out there that offers no money down um, and no PMI, which is the second benefit there. So a lot of times when you have under 20% down, like on an FHA loan or a five or 10% down, you're going to have a PMI, which is a private mortgage insurance. So it's a little bit of an extra monthly payment with the VA loan that doesn't apply. So you have a zero money down and no PMI um, to get into your first home. Uh, any detached home across the country is going to allow for you to use your VA loan. Um, condos, you need to make sure that the condo project is actually VA approved. You can do that by logging in. You can just Google VA approved condos and you'll see the Veterans Administration link and you'll be able to uh, look up the name of your condo association to see if it's VA approved. If not, you can petition the HOA to get VA approval. Uh, I believe there's a small cost associated and they have to pass uh, a couple tests, but it should be fairly easy for them to do that. So um, if your condo association is not, probably look into that. Um, otherwise, yeah, that's it. It's, a, it's a, a basically a no money down, no PMI loan product for active duty and uh, former military members um, to, to secure the purchase of their home. So it's a fantastic program and uh, I will put the links down below to everybody who's eligible as well as some of the criteria for what you need to obtain a VA loan. But yeah, uh, thanks. Good question. What is a rent back? Question two, what is a rent back? Um, great question. We actually had a buyer of mine uh, write an offer last week and that was countered uh, with a rent back. And, uh, and so this question was born. Um, I've run into it a couple of times before, but in essence, a rent back happens when, um, say you're a buyer on a property and you write an offer, the seller can counter a rent back. What they want is to stay in the property after close of escrow for any given amount of time. Um, there's some varying opinions on whether or not that's uh, you know, a smart move or whatnot. You could just delay the close of escrow until they're ready to move out. But sometimes the clients actually need the closing costs from the purchase to go on into their next purchase. So what they'll do is they'll ask for a close of escrow on a specific day and then ask to stay in the property as a rent back so they can use the money from their sale to, to work on the purchase of their next place. Um, so it's not, it's not uncommon. It happens a lot. Um, just make sure that as you're going through the, the offer process, you have a set date, like a move out date. You know, you don't want just an unlimited rent back. It would be rent back for 30 days or 45 days or whatever it may be. Um, and make sure that the, the uh, amount is covered as well. So a lot of people will do a rent back at the buyer's PITI, you know, or the um, or basically what their payment is, so that the the new buyer coming in isn't jacking up the rent on the current owners. Um, they're just they're just getting enough to cover for that extra month, right? Um, some people will also do a rent back at fair market value, um, which is probably the best way to go about it. Uh, just because then you know nobody's getting shortchanged or whatnot. Um, it's actually a great tool for a buyer coming into the transaction to kind of use as a negotiation piece. You know, if they're on a month-to-month -month lease, uh, you as a buyer are on a month-to-month -month lease, and you don't have to get into the new place right away. Uh, you can offer that rent back to the current sellers to give them the time to, to move out or do whatever they need to do uh, on the back end. So it is a good, it is a good bargaining chip. 
Um, make sure that when you're in escrow, you get all the um, paperwork squared away because you're going to have to have you know a seller in possession or some sort of you know if it's longer than a certain amount of time, you're going to need a lease in place uh, because now you've turned into a landlord you know tenant relationship. So just make sure you're covered that way. But um, it's nothing to be scared about really. It, it's just that the seller and the property needs a little bit of time after the close of escrow to get things in order, and um, and so they're going to ask for a rent back scenario. So there you go, rent back. Thanks for tuning in to episode 11. Uh, make sure you check back in with us. Uh, subscribe below if you haven't already to make sure that you get the email notifications when a new episode is out. You can find me on Twitter at Jay Cassidy. Use the hashtag Ask a Realtor to ask me any questions and your question could even be answered on the show. You can also find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, all that type of stuff um, or shoot me an email or call or text or whatnot. Uh, look forward to seeing you again next time. Talk to you later. Peace.